Ali from the Bear Pit TV and this is your Everton preview video. Now on Saturday we're going to be heading to Goodison Park away from home. Now I'll, I'll be there if you want to come and say hello, if you want to come and be on the Bear Pit TV video just keep a lookout. Last season the Everton game was one of my favourite of the season. It was a 4-3 thriller. Shaq got his first goals for the club. We had a penalty in the last minute which Arnautovic put away to seal the win. And Jocelyn hugged the ref which was probably one of my favourite moments of the season. You can't hug refs, but he did and it was brilliant. Um, but anyway, on to this weekend. We're not as strong as we probably were when we went there last season. We're going to have Butland out. We're going to have Glenn Johnson missing. Shakiri is also a doubt. Hopefully he pulls through. Mark Hughes has said that it's a niggle and they're going to test him out later on in the week. Uh, obviously, Stephen and Jappen this week, we won 4-0. We absolutely batted him away from home. Peter Crouch got a hat-trick. And, you know, Mark Hughes has said that that's affected his thinking a lot ahead of the game of the weekend. And you, you can understand why it would, because Peter Crouch put in a sublime performance, probably the best performance of any striker so far this season at Stoke. And, you know, I can pretty much see that he's going to start, which would mean that we wouldn't play the sort of counter-attacking football that we played last season when we went there. I imagine it'd be a lot more hold-up play to Crouch or long balls into the box, which I don't mind at all. I, anything that's going to, you know, anything that's going to get a result, grind out a result, I'll take. But for the, the formation that I think that Hughes is going to go with for the weekend, I think it's going to be pretty similar to Stevenage. I think it's going to be given in goal with Bosley at right back, Peters left back, Shawcross and Walshide in the middle. In sitting in midfield, in Bula and Whelan, with Joe Allen probably the, the attacking pivot of those three. Bojan Moore out to the right, Arnautovic on the left with Peter Crouch up top. That would be my starting XI or my predicted starting XI. Let me know in the comments below what yours would be or if you think that someone... You know, maybe Sobby could make a start on the right. I don't think he'd throw him in and start him in a Premier League game away from home, but you let me know in the comments what your starting XI would be. Now, Ronald Koeman hasn't announced any injuries for Everton. It seems like they've got a clean bill of health in their squad, which means, you know, they're going to have Lukaku, they're going to have Ross Barkley, they're going to have Ever uh, Yannick Balassi, who they've just signed for 25 million. A bit pricey, if I'm being honest. But, you know, Everton seem a decent side this season. We've obviously had the takeover. They're willing to spend a lot of money because of, the, because of the takeover. And, you know, we're in for an interesting game. A very interesting game in my eyes. I think it says a lot about us for the rest of the season, how we go and set up there. I think it's going to be an interesting game. Um, if I was to give you a score prediction, I'd be happy with a draw. I'd probably say 1-1, which is quite boring and quite bland. But I'd be happy with the point when we sort of haven't completed our squad yet. I still think we need a defender, still think we need a striker. I'm sure they will keep rumbling on and we'll, you know, eventually sort something out for those. My dream two would be Sacco and Berahino. But, you know, we don't always get what we want and we just have to see what happens. Let me know your comments, your score prediction in the comments below. Like if you have enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. On one last note, Ball Street are going to be having a transfer deadline day live next week. I'm going to be on it. All the rest of the Ball Street guys will be on it from the other fan channels. we we'll speaking about Stoke news throughout the day. It'll all be live on YouTube on the Ball Street channel. Go and head over there if you haven't already. I'll leave a link in the description. So do make sure you go and head over there. And thank you for watching.